The April Metro Council meeting, District 4 Councilman Ja'Cory Arthur made comments about a life-threatening encounter with LMPD officers back in 2021. WDRB investigates what happened during that encounter and asked the councilman more than a year later if anything had changed. Hey man, how you doing? A routine traffic stop. I might have a firearm. Metro Councilman Ja'Cory Arthur outside of his car with three police officers. It's December 16th, 2021. Keep one in the chamber, man. To know why we're here, we must fast forward. Ordinance number one. It's now April 27th, 2023. Second round of American Rescue Plan ARP. The Louisville Metro Council is in its last meeting of the month. This spending is premature. Councilman Arthur votes no on approving rescue plan dollars for LMPD. He brings up a personal experience with officers. I'll never forget, I voted no for a police contract on Thursday, December the 16th, 2021, my first year on Metro Council. And officers followed me home that night, pulled me over, took me out of my car, and threatened my life saying to keep around in the chamber of my gun at all times. WDRB investigates looked into those claims, got access to the body camera video of officers from that night. So we're going back to that date, back to December 16th, 2021. Here's what I'm pulling you over. Uh, in my systems, my, it's showing that your tag are expired in 2020. This is the incident Arthur recalled in the April meeting. This is the traffic stop. This is the raw video. Do you have any weapons or drugs in the car and you know about? I might have a firearm. You might have a firearm. Yeah, I don't know if I left it in my car or not. Where would it be at? It would be under my seat. Okay. Uh, you want to check it? Can we get out so you can check? Uh, yeah, we'll come out here. The comments in the meeting. Took me out of my car and threatened my life saying to keep around in the chamber of my gun at all times. Did not paint a picture of what might be perceived as a friendly interaction with police. Is that your kiddo? On your wallpaper? Is that your kiddo? Yeah, my kid. So we asked the councilman to explain. Oh. Ja'Cory Arthur gun, watched the, the full we'll body camera hair. video with WDRB oh. investigates. Where are you coming from? You're all dressed up? We just had a council meeting tonight, and then I had a dinner. Oh, okay. When I saw those lights go off behind me, I thought I was about to get killed. The traffic stop for expired tags is happening about one hour after a Metro Council meeting, where Councilman Arthur was one of three votes yes. against a collective Council bargaining agreement between oh. LMPD and the Fraternal Order of Police. Councilmember Arthur. No. I think our tags are like over a year expired. I think that's what the, the issue is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we know. Okay. I was wondering how long it would take you out of time. Yeah, you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, I, I get it the though. Council meeting tonight. Yeah. So you think it was a, a targeted traffic stop? Oh, I absolutely believe that. After telling police there could be a gun in the car, Arthur volunteers to get out of the vehicle and has given officers permission to check that he legally owns the gun. We're going to run it, make sure it's good to go, and we'll be going to the firearm, okay? The video LMPD provided shows no conflict. One officer runs the serial number of the gun, and two others stand with Arthur as he waits. You doing okay tonight? It takes around 15 minutes what? for yeah. the gun's registration to come back. The There's like no way this is just a coincidence and you just randomly right. saw, you randomly saw my car, randomly checked my tags and decided to pull me over. I believe this was 100% intentional. It was retaliation and it was, it was political. I have anxiety just watching this. Just... The gun is registered to Arthur and is returned to his vehicle. Arthur is cited for no registration receipt his tags had been expired for nearly a year and a half. You feel that this was retaliation against you? I do feel that way. Maybe if this footage was correct and it happened the next day on Friday, December the 17th, maybe I would feel less like this. And just before the police part ways, an officer offers advice to the gun carrying councilman. Uh, secondly, if you're gonna have one, keep one in the chamber, man. Like I noticed when I took the magazine out, there was nothing in there. Keep one in there. Why take that extra second to put one up there? Threaten my life saying to keep around in the chamber of my gun at all times. I, I usually do keep one in the head. But Just a word of advice. Do you think that those comments were an accurate reflection of what happened in this body camera footage? What I said during the council meeting absolutely still holds true. What you don't see where they came from and the conversations that were had over the radio and to each other before they pulled me over, that's not here. What could officers have done differently? I don't think there's anything that they can do to repair that relationship and repair that trust. 
and repair the fact that I feel the way I feel and so many other black people feel the way they feel when they see the police. If you got pulled over leaving here today in a very similar situation as what we just watched, would you feel that same way? Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to feel that way until I'm dead and gone. With photojournalist Stuart Hammer, Dalton Godby, WDRB News.